trend showing that Instagram and YouTube are the two most popular social medias that businesses are using to grow their business. And today I'm going to walk you through what an Instagram for business setup should look like, but most importantly, how to make sure that your Instagram is fully optimized for engagement and to be discovered. Welcome, I am Jade from Miss Coco the Librarian where I specialize in helping small businesses and job hunters optimize their online presence so that you can be discovered by all the right people. And today we are going to look at what a great Instagram for business should look like. So to switch your Instagram account to a business account, you need to go onto your Instagram, go into settings, and in settings, go into account. In account, right down the bottom, you'll see some blue text. At the moment, mine is asking me if I want to switch back to a personal account because mine is already a business account. But if you click on that text and then follow the prompts, you will set up your Instagram to be a business account. When you follow the prompts, you will discover that you cannot have a business Instagram account without also having a Facebook page. These are the new rules ever since Facebook brought Instagram. So you will need to set up a Facebook page. As you follow the prompts to change your Instagram account to a business account, you will also be asked to link it to a Facebook page. If you already have a Facebook page set up for your business, then at this time you can link that page to your Instagram account. And if you don't already have a Facebook page, then Instagram will set one up for you. You will notice that there are many new features available to you in an Instagram business account, but there are two features I want to tell you about that I use the most, and they are quick replies and the insights page. I'm going to open up my Instagram again to show you what both of those look like. Both of these features you can access via the three lines on the top right hand side, of your Instagram account. So let's go in there. And the first one you see is Insights. So let's have a look at Insights. I particularly love this feature because it not only shows you your activity and who has discovered you, but it also shows you, most importantly, where your audience is coming from, their age range, gender, and when they're online. Quick replies are like frequently asked questions, but you use them within Instagram's direct messaging feature. So let's open up Instagram again, go down to settings, and within business, you can see right down the bottom is quick replies. And to set one up, you press the plus sign right up the top, type in your message, Add in a shortcut and then you press the tick in the top right hand corner and then you have set up a quick reply which will hopefully save you time and sore thumbs. There are many other features that you get in a business Instagram account and for the sake of time I'm not going to go over all of them today but if you do want me to do an in-depth analysis of those features let me know in the comments below. Right now though, we are focusing on making sure that your Instagram for business is set up right. So now we are going to explore your Instagram feed. I want you to make sure that your bio in particular is set up right for discoverability. What you put in your name and your username can actually be searched within Instagram. So you want to make sure that you put in useful information like your name, your business name, or the name of your library. Doing this will make sure that, well, when people are searching for, say, a graphic designer and they type that in to Instagram, then you will pop up because graphic designer is either in your name or your username. Oh, and to edit your name or your username, you actually click on edit profile on your profile feed and name and username are the first two options that come up. Staying within the edit profile tab, I want you to scroll down. We'll come back to website bio and page, don't worry. But right now I want you to select a category for your business. There are many to choose from, so 
select the one that best describes your business. I also suggest adding in some ways that people can easily get in contact with you. So press the back button and the option under category is contact options. So in there, I want you to put in some ways that people can contact you. As a business, you've chosen to open an Instagram account because you realize it will get you in front of more people, which is great, but you also have to remember to give those people as many touch points with your business as you can. So in the contact options, at least add in an email. Going back up to page, you should see that Instagram has linked your account with the Facebook page that you set up during the setup process. And when you post something on Instagram, you'll also notice that you have an option to post that same image to your Facebook page. So take advantage of that as much as you want. All right, so going back up to website. On Instagram, you only have one option to link out, and that is website in your edit profile which can be a bit of a pain if you want to link out to your latest YouTube video, your website, and the landing page you've just created for a new product or service. I use a service called Linktree, which allows me to link out to all those things in the one page. So here, let me show you how that works. I've just gone back to my profile feed and I'll click on the link I have in my website field. And as you can see, it's taking me to basically a landing page that Linktree sets up where I have links out to a free workbook I've created, an event that I'm speaking at uh, in a couple of weeks, my latest YouTube video, and a lot more. Now for the part of your profile that most people have trouble with, and that is the bio. But I've got a formula for you that will take all the stress out of it. So your name and username already have keywords in it that will help people find your profile when they're searching for it on Instagram, like graphic designer or online presence specialist. The first line of your bio should be your business name or library name. This will let people know that if they are searching for you, that they found you. The second line should be who you serve. This is important because it can let your audience know at a glance if the content that you produce is for them. The third line should be your location and this can help you get local business. The fourth line is where I put some hashtags of some of the services that I provide. And a tip here, it's also an easy way that you can keep an eye on what other people in your niche are also posting to those same hashtags. And the final line should be a call to action to encourage people to take further action. Right now, I have a free brand workbook for people to sign up to. And my last line is letting people know about it. Okay, so if you followed all those steps, your Instagram for business profile should be fully optimized to be discovered. Now I'm going to give you some engagement tips for your Instagram feed and stories. The general rule for your Instagram is to choose a color scheme that represents your brand. For example, I follow this particular account and as you can see, their color scheme seems to be green with lots of smiling faces. Your feed style is something that you should get from your brand. Have you decided that your brand is going to be fun, inspirational and slightly quirky? Then you may have a color scheme that's very similar to my own, which is yellow, black and white. We all know that people engage with a good story. So if you want high engagement in your Instagram posts, then you should get used to writing micro blog posts as the captions in your feed and then end your mini blog post with a question that encourages discussion. And to help your posts be found on Instagram, it helps to have a list of hashtags ready to go. Do some research and find hashtags that have a volume between 50 to 70K. And these can be like your low to mid volume hashtag. Using hashtags with a slightly lower volume means that your posts will stay in the Explorer feed for that hashtag longer. You can still use some of the big ticket hashtags on Instagram like 
uh, Feature Friday or Throwback Thursday, but having a good mix of hashtags with high to low volume will increase the chances of your content being found. Before we move on to Instagram stories, I would really love it if you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Both actions let me know that you find this content useful so that in future, I'll create more of it. Now for a breakdown on Instagram stories. Oh, actually, before we leave the Instagram feed, there's one more thing that I want to show you. I do this quite often for some of the posts that are promoting a new video that I just published. So if you go into your post and then click on the little plane icon, I believe that looks a little different on an Apple iPhone. I'm using an Android, but the principle is the same. And then you click add to stories. And then your image pops up in the story setup. So you can click on the image a couple of times and you can see that it changes the border around it. Use whichever one works for you. Then add in some text. Let's say new video. And we'll get the little eyedropper and choose my brand yellow. Let's do that again. There we go, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Press done and then send to your story and then you've just shared a story about your new video using the post you just did. So stories disappear after 24 hours unless you add them as a highlight on your feed. And because stories have such a short lifespan, businesses use them as a way to generate interest and develop a community around their business. The most common type of stories that businesses do are things like behind the scenes, do it yourself, a sneak peek into what you're doing during the day, and maybe like a vlog type of video. Stories are a great place to let your audience in on your process. So think about where you can let them in on what you do. The general rule for stories is to post five to seven a day but don't feel pressured to keep to that. I certainly don't, because believe it or not, I'm actually quite introverted and just whipping out my phone to do a quick story does not come naturally to me. I'm working on that though. So maybe you can join me for posting one to two times a day and we'll see how we go. Posting a story is pretty simple. You go into the home tab of Instagram and right up the top, there is a camera. You click on that. That takes you to the story setup. Now you can take a photo or you can click onto the square and go into your camera roll and choose something from in there. I'm going to choose something from my camera roll because I do not take good spontaneous photos. <laughs> So this is a promotion for a event that I'm speaking at. Put that in there. Maybe add in a hashtag. There we go. And then you click the send to down the bottom. It's pretty much the same process that we just walked through uh, when you post a story from something in your feed. You click on the share, then you shared it to your feed. Click on done and it will show up in your Instagram stories. And to check that your post is there, you click on your display picture and you can see that your new story is there for everyone else to view. Adding tags as I did to that story increases the chances of your story being discovered. So add in hashtags, you can add in images, you can add in GIFs, play around in the Instagram story setup and have fun with it. See what you can find that works for your business. So today we've set up your Instagram for business account. I've shown you what an engaging feed looks like and I've shown you how you can use Instagram stories to generate interest and engagement with your audience. 
As you can probably tell, there is so much more I could have talked about in today's video. If you are interested in learning more about Instagram with me, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for learning with me today. It's for people like you that I create this content. Remember to always be curious and I will see you same time next week.